everyone, it's Leah. Welcome back to my channel. I'm just a rainbow cloud today and I love it. For today's video, I thought we could talk about ways to kind of clear your mind, get your mental state in a good area, different things like that, you know? I made a list of a bunch of different things and I'm going to be talking about a bunch of different products as well. And um, yeah, I hope you guys like it. Let's just go ahead and jump in. Okay, so the first thing I have on my list is to organize your space. I did this recently as part of my like spring cleaning. Uh, I showed you guys in my room tour. If you haven't seen that video, you should go watch it. It's pretty good. But um, what I did to organize was just buy this big cube organizer. Um, and these are cool because they're aesthetically pleasing. I guess you could say um, and they have a bunch of different cubbies and you can get little baskets and just organize the crap out of everything in your room and it's actually worked out pretty well it's just sitting right over here that's why I keep looking at it you can also reorganize all of your furniture that really like changes your mindset puts you in a new vibe because it feels like a new bedroom and you know change is good <laughs> Second thing I do to keep my mind clear is to meditate or do yoga, something along those lines. What I do is I get my yoga mat out and I spread it across my room. That was a hair. <laughs> and I take my stones, like my healing stones that I showed you guys in my last video, and I just kind of like lay them out in front of me, put my headphones in, listen to like a meditation playlist on Spotify or something, and just try to clear my mind. I try to picture myself just like sitting on a beach with the stones in front of me, I try to picture them like changing my life and so far it works. I do it some mornings and it makes me feel really relaxed. Another thing you can do is read and if you're not a big reader, it's fine. The past few recent months I've been really uh, interested in reading more than I have been and more so like non-fiction books like inspirational books um, but also some fiction as well. The book I'm currently reading is called Big Magic by Elizabeth Gilbert. Uh, she is the author of Eat, Pray, Love but I've never read that one. But this book is really 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 good so far. I'm only like I'm only on page 93 so I still have this much left to read um, but so far it is just really really good and I can feel it like kind of changing my life you know what I mean does that sound cheesy probably but mm. the fourth thing I do to get my mind clear is watch inspiring youtubers and I'm not gonna tell you which ones because that is my next video I felt like I should do an entire video talking about the youtubers uh, that inspire me and why they inspire me so look out for that in the next video another thing I like to do is look for new music or listen to old music that like gets me jamming you know <laughs> Uh, I have my Spotify link down below, but I have a lot of new playlists, um, and I followed a lot of like summery, no, well, not really summery, like springy playlist. Um, like one of my favorite YouTubers, Kayla Nicholson, has this playlist called Bins and Breathes, and I've been listening to that a lot recently because it's kind of like yoga-ish music, but it does have like a beat to it. A few of the songs do, so that one's really good. Um, but yeah, you should go check out my Spotify. I have a lot of cool playlists on there. Another thing I like to do, or I have been liking to do recently, is journaling. I've been trying to get into bullet journaling, so this is what the outside of mine looks like. It's just like a plain blue one. And the only thing I have written in it is like monthly calendars. And I'm actually like kind of proud of them. So this is what March... So this is what March's calendar looks like. And then I have April and then, um, you know, all the rest of them as the months go on but yeah I'm really excited I haven't really added anything else to it but I don't know I like the idea of bullet journaling so I'm trying to get into it more and this also goes along with another thing I like to do to clear my mind and that is making lists you wouldn't understand unless you're the type of person that loves to make lists which I am and it brings me to another book that I wanted to tell you guys about called 52 lists for happiness this is by Morea Seal I'll have a link down below all the mailman's here. Hi. So this is a weekly journaling inspiration for positivity, balance, and joy. It looks like this. Um, and then I'll show you guys some of the lists. First of all, it's very like, very beautiful page wise. It's separated into different sections called reflect, acknowledge, invest, and transform. And each one of those has like probably 15 or 20 lists in them and it's one list for one week of the year and the pages are just so pretty like that's reflect and then here's an example so I bought this book kind of late so I've been trying to like fill in the weeks that I missed um, 
but list two it looks like this and it just says list the routines in your personal life and work and so you do all that and then at the end of every list it gives you a goal like a weekly goal that goes along with your list so this one says take action circle all the routines that bring you joy and cross out all the routines you dislike what is it about the circled routines that bring you joy so it causes you to reflect on what makes you happy in life and she also has another one called 52 list for um productivity and i really really want that one because i've been trying to uh, I've been trying to be more productive and creative lately, so I think I'm going to pick up that one as well. And this was only like $12 at Target or something like that, so it was a good deal. Another thing that I've been loving to do recently is kind of having like a spa day or a spa-ish like relaxing night. And this can be either like using a bunch of face masks or taking a long bath or shower and using like aromatherapy stuff or like smell good stuff um, but I've been really really into face masks recently and I'll show you guys my favorites my all-time favorite face mask that I've been using a lot of recently is by Lush and it is the cup of coffee face mask and I'll show you guys what it looks like on the inside if you know me you know that I'm a little bit obsessed with coffee just a tad <laughs> and so this face mask is definitely so perfect for me so it looks like this it's just very like I don't even know how to describe that consistency, but it has coffee beans in it and different things like that. It's amazing. It says, kickstart your day with a stimulating blend of fresh ground coffee, kaolin, and agave syrup. And this is honestly such a good face mask. First of all, it energizes your skin. I can feel it. If I use it in the morning, I'm in a better mood instantly if I'm drinking my coffee with it. <laughs> and also it makes your skin really, really smooth. Like. This is probably the best face mask I've ever used. Oh, I love it so much. And finally, the last couple that I've been oh, absolutely loving are sheet masks, and specifically the ones from Pink, Victoria's Secret. Um, these are their new ones. Well, I'm not sure if they're new because I hardly ever shop there, but they're new to me. Um, this is their like summery, like beauty line, I guess. <laughs> I have a lot of their stuff. I have like two of their sprays from that line, their lotion. They're like coconut body wash or whatever, but their sheet masks are amazing. This one specifically, this uh, selfie skin with coconut oil in it. Oh my God, it's so good. First of all, it smells so tropical, like coconuts. It makes your skin really, really soft. <sighs> I just love it. And I'm really excited to try this one. This one's called Seize the Day and it has like different sea minerals in it and stuff like that. Ugh, I'm so excited. Whenever I use a sheet mask, if I'm trying to like unwind at the end of the day, I just put it on, pop my headphones in, and listen to meditation music or something. Recently though, I've been listening to like ocean sounds, and that one's really cool, so really relaxing. And the last thing I do to kind of clear my head is incorporate a change in my life somehow, whether that be huge or whether that be small. Some small changes that I might make to kind of clear my head is like my hair. Um, I change my hair a lot. I get really, really bored with it. Uh, it used to be pink and then it was back blonde and now it's purple and then sometimes it'll be back blonde. It's just, it's always changing. So I like to do that. It makes me feel like a new person whenever I like drastically change it. Um, as I mentioned earlier, changing your furniture also puts you in a good mindset, a good vibe, you know. Spring cleaning is happening, so maybe you should try that. And also, you could just start with changing something about your morning routine, something about your night routine. Maybe make it more relaxing or make your morning routine more... Not necessarily productive, but energizing to get you ready for the day. Maybe try some aromatherapy things. The Bath and Body Works has a ton for like energy and stress relief. Uh, maybe you could try coffee or smoothies or different things like that. Anything to just get you going in the morning. <laughs> But those are all the tips I have for you to get your head clear, get you in a good mindset, a good space mentally. If you have any tips or suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. I'd love to know more. If you did enjoy this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more of me and turn on the bell so that you get notified every single time I upload a video. I feel like that's a script now. Like I read it as if I'm reading the script, but it's just, I don't know how else to say it, so. Anyways, I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!